It is July the 6th. This is Hooligan calling out to all you fiends and sworn. Give you all a second to come and join us. Hope everyone had a wonderful fourth. Hey, Dane Ellison, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. How was your weekend? Hope you had a good one. And where are you watching from, Dane? Well, I'm not going to wave at myself. Gosh. I see so many people watching. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in. I got a bunch of things to show you guys, both for the eBay store and for the um, Coffin Comic Shop. Um, that's probably where most of them, uh, most of my items will be at today. I have a couple things on uh, eBay. Scott, no! So, Minnesota! All right, Minnesota! How was your weather out there that weekend, man? Here it was just hot and then hotter with a bunch of humidity and then hot on top. So the fourth was, I melted quite a bit. It was pretty gross. Um, mostly stayed inside. It sucks when you go see fireworks outside your lawn and it's still like 95 degrees and it's eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. Horrible. Scott knows what, knows, knows what I'm talking about, right, Scott? Bloody hot. <laughs> Dang, well, looks like you're in the same boat, but I'm glad you had fun. Scott, no, I hope you had a great weekend. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. I'm going to start off, and I want to show you guys a couple uh, stuff I uploaded on eBay. Um, before I start off by showing you um, one of my favorite covers we've always done, and I was so happy to find an AP edition of this. This is Lady Death Damnation Game, Pinup Metal Edition. This is an artist proof. It has the artist proof COA that comes with it. This is on the eBay store, so click on the links to go ahead and pick up your item. Uh, if you like the item signed, if you're on eBay, please note it uh, when you're checking out, or if you're looking for an invoice, just put something down like, hey, I'd like these signed, or message me, whichever you guys prefer. But yeah, that's one of my favorite covers. I absolutely love that cover. Um, yeah, I had a good weekend. It was mostly chill, take care of stuff around the house. Um, quiet, very quiet, which I needed. It's nice to have a nice, quiet weekend. Another artist proof. This is Lady Death, Chaos Rules, number one. This is the Superstar Metal Edition. Very beautiful. It's an AP number five again. It does have the COA, and if you'd like it signed, Brian would definitely sign it for you. Another item I uploaded on eBay. Uh, this is a publisher file I found. This is the Hellwitch Hellborn number one, slabbed edition. It's a 24 page book that has roughly half of the origin story of Hellwitch. This one uh, was signed by Brian, so it does come with the COA and the publisher file copy. COA as well. I only have pretty much onesies of everything. Um, I did upload the Hell Witch uh, Witchman edition. One of these, this was offered back at Fiend Fest uh, last February of last year, and those who attended know what a great time it was. So click on the links for eBay, and this is where you'll find your selections. If you next up, I'll be showing stuff from the Coffin Comic Shop. So I'm going to be focused on some prints, just so you guys show you just the wide variety of 11 by 17 prints, and even fine art prints if there's still some available. So I've got some cool images to show you guys. I also went ahead and loaded up some original art editions for Hellwitch, and I believe I put some up for um, Lady Death as well. So I'm going to be putting up more original art editions as I come across them. Because I know a lot of people like to get their stuff signed and um, get some beautiful art on there. So definitely great opportunity to get a unique piece of art on a book that you have um, that will be one of a kind. So definitely seek out like any of the top coffin uh, artists that we have, which we have a ton, 
and uh, have them put an original sketch on you. I mean, it's well worth the price of admission. Um, one thing I like about original art books is it's very unique, and it's unique to your collection. And some of these original art stuff I've seen that have people have had done over the years have been amazing. So I highly recommend get that phone call out of here. Okay, phone call is gone. Another thing um, I want to show you guys is some of the interesting stuff we carry on the Coffin Comic Shop. Um, this right here is the Lady Death, the collection. It has volumes one, or chapters one through ten, of the Lady Death Coffin Comics storyline. These are all the gold foil editions, but we also have stuff where you're going to get nice mini prints, bumper stickers, a button, tons of stickers. There's some traded cards thrown in. So really good value. These are going for about $200 on the uh, Coffin Comic Shop. So I highly recommend these. I did uh, put up a couple on the eBay store, but I believe I'm sold out at the moment. So uh, when I get some more restock, I will relist those. Um, but they're really a great value. All the newest editions, they'll all have the chapters up on the corner. So Chaos Rules Chapter 1 all the way through uh, Blast Mietha, which is Chapter 10. Um, and then, of course, um, when more editions come out, I'm sure we'll be revamping uh, this collection. So who's, who knows? We're always changing things up to pass on the amazing things to you guys. So thank you very much for everyone who supported us. Um, <coughs> a couple other things that are on the store right now. Um, I was lucky I, I could get my hands on some of these to show you guys because I thought they were also that. We still have some. This is the Lady Death Swimsuit. Premier Edition. It's got some beautiful foil enhancements in her hair as it's flipped up. Really, really nice. And also the beautiful text is in gold foil as well. Mike Crum did the cover on this. Really beautiful book. Um, get them while we have them. We will. We do have a nice uh, stock of these available. But like with anything Lady Death, uh, these are hot. I've also noticed on eBay people have been scooping up some of the older swimsuit and the fetishes uh, from 2005 and 2006 I have on eBay. A um, bunch of people were scooping up those over the weekend. So definitely check it out, Mike Chrome. This is the Lady Death Swim Suit number one premier edition. And if you missed Friday, um, we did a fun little promo, Brian and I, for the um, Summer of Sin Dose, the sequel. And we offered the Sun K Naughty Edition. Get this stuff while we got it. Send a wave to that individual right there. Pink waving. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't have summer without the sun. And we got Sun K right there for you guys. Get these editions while we have them. Some of them are limited. This one's there's only 250 editions, so it could be gone already. There is limits on how many people can get them per household. All that information is right there at the Coffin Comics shop. Just click on the link. I believe it's the second link um, that I have off to the side. Click on that. And you'll see these and along as many other cool items that we have um, available at the coffee comic shop and then we had of course the uh, nice edition this again only 250 copies so if you're hesitant don't hesitate this sun k one there's a lot of people really loving this uh, this art both naughty and nice so if you see it grab it this is all stuff you can find Coffin Comics Shop online. Oops, let's see what I got here. Couple massages. All right. I'm actually surprised that I have a service going because apparently I'm having issues with T-Mobile. So <laughs> sometimes I might have to change my carriers. Anyways, another cool thing we were offering for the Summer of Sin 2 the sequel is this awesome, awesome edition done by Dan Mendoza. This is the naughty version. Swimsuit number one, Dan Mendoza. And one thing I liked, and I noticed it, is her toes. She's like giving you the peace sign, but to me it also looks like she's playing in the sand. So it's little cool little characteristics that Dan Mendoza throws in that, to, to me, really gives it that little extra spark to the art, a lot more personality to it. And it's great to see when you've seen certain artists over the years uh, working on our books, 
they all add little uh, things in the background or just things that it's like, okay, that's that's a, a Mendoza or that's a Monty Moore or that's a David Harrigan. It's just really neat to see the artist's uh, work. And um, this one that Dan did is, I, I love. The first thing I noticed was her toes. It's like, oh, she's like giving you a peace sign or playing in the sand. This is the nice edition. Oh, thanks, Scott. I'm glad you liked it. And Scott, did you, uh, which edition did you get? Did you get the naughty nice or the metal? I know the metals, we only had it roughly, what, uh, 26 copies made? So everyone introduce you. If you guys don't know Scott, no, uh, him and I go back 25 years. His brother and I used to work together at a comic shop called uh, Atomic Comics. He was managing the Metro Center store um, when I got started. So everyone say hi to Scott. Him and I are go way back. <laughs> I don't even know if you were in college yet. Got the metal one, then the print. Yes, guys, I'm going to be showing a lot of 11 by 7 team prints um, today. Um, pretty much just about every image you can think of, we usually have 11 by 17 uh, print that you can order from us. Not all everything, of course, but there's some really nice, nice art that definitely uh, when you get to the coffee comic shop, just hang over on the print section. They'll bring a drop down window and pick which character and see what type of uh, art we have to offer you guys. And I'll show you some samples I have. Um, that are available on the store. Uh, a couple of things I also wanted to bring up too is collected editions. And uh, we have hard covers of our Lady Death and La Muerta uh, collected editions. This is Lady Death Rules Volume 1. This one right here consists of the first three chapters in one volume of Lady Death's Return and the beginning of the Coffin Comics uh, storyline as well as the beginnings of the Coffin verse as well. So we have these available, really good editions. They're like $35, um, nice hardbound editions. Brian is more than willing to sign this for you. Anything you order off the stores, um, free charge. You can get a nice COA to go with that book to complement it. Another one we got is the Lady Death Rules Volume 2. Now this one is what's different is uh, it has four volumes instead of three. So you're getting an extra chapter in this one. So four chapters of Lady Death, chapters four, five, six, and seven in one volume. Really great price, $35. These are really good prices, guys. And you get it. just between these two editions, you're gonna get seven chapters of Lady Death in the coffin verse. And then um, I'm sure at the rate we're going, we'll probably have a volume three out within a year or two. Another cool volume two we have and these are limited editions. We only made set 250 of these. This is the Lady Death Rules Volume 2 hardcover signed special edition. So you see it has a different cover by Mike Chrome. And on the back, you get this beautiful print and a really awesome hollow foil card that comes with it. And then inside, if I recall correctly, there will be a plate. And on that plate, Shows you right there. There's the COA that's inside the cover. This is 184 out of 250. So we're pretty low on stock on these. Probably what, 66 copies maybe? Um, this numbering is right, or I just have to grab one that was this number. But they don't last long. I have yet to see any more volume ones, but I'm sure there could be some lying around. I just have not discovered them yet. But I thought it'd be fun to show you guys some of the hard covers. Uh, that's available at the Coffin Comic Shop. Get it while we got it. This one's already signed. It's got the nice little nameplate. It's all yours. And of course, La Muerta Lives, Volume 1 hardcover. This one also, first three chapters of La Muerta, her Lady Death's paths, paths are, have been slowly crossing into one another. If you guys are not familiar with some of our newest story arcs, the Coffin Verse is expanding. Zack is in the fold now, along with Hellwitch and La Muerta. So all our characters are meeting, they are greeting, and they are kicking butt. I don't want to say the A works. I don't know if I'll get in trouble on here or not. 
This has the first three chapters. Really beautiful hardcover edition. Highly recommend it. And again, anything you order from the CoffinComicShop.com or even on the eBay store, let me know if you want these items signed. They will get signed free of charge. A couple other things I'd like to announce. Um, <clears throat> We're going to be doing a Comics Con online. We're going to do a little meet, uh, Stanley Art Germ. And the reason why I mention this, um, he was born and bred in Hong Kong. He was multifaceted. Stanley wears different hats as an illustrator, designer, concept artist, creative director, and co-founder of Imaginary Friends Studios, a world-acclaimed digital art studio that produces high-quality artworks from <clears throat> for the likes of Capcom, DC Comics, Marvel Comics, and other giants in the entertainment and gaming industries. He is formally trained as a, in a graphic design and advertisement. Stanley's art is imbued with a strong sense of aesthetics and visual fluidity. Boy, I hope I'm not bitch, uh, butchering this for you guys. <laughs> it's a perfect blend of Eastern and Western art styles. Now, I remember Art Germs was doing some DC covers um, when I was still working in the shops, and it was a mad rush. People would scoop those up. We had to slap limits because people were grabbing the entire stock to buy them out. Um, his work is beautiful. It's really um, just stunning to look at, and I am happy to announce um, we are going to be selling some new items from him Thursday, July 9th at 9 a.m., Pacific Daylight Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's this Thursday. And this will be ending Monday, July 13th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So from Thursday through Monday is when you have your opportunity to order these items. Some of the items, I have to say the CBSN terminology. We have the Art Germ Vegan Art Cover. Very beautiful. Ace, welcome, welcome, welcome. It would not be a CCSN without you. How are you and how was your weekend? It's good to see you. Let me send you a wave. Pink, wave sent. This will be available for order on, from Thursday the 9th through Monday the 13th. Excuse me, yeah, Monday the 13th. Thursday the 9th through Monday the 13th. Starts 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time and that would be 12 noon Eastern Daylight Time. Your chance to order these and some even more limited editions from Art Germ. Brand new images. I really love this, this new look. Um, someone pointed out that most of the stuff they've seen of him has been a profile and not a straight on um, shot. So he really, in my opinion, really captured the beauty that is Lady Death. And just, again, another dramatic, beautiful images that only Art Germ can give you. And that is the Malevolent Decimation Art Germ Vegan Edition. This will go on sale Thursday the 9th. Make sure you're there. Get those buttons ready because there's going to be some limited editions in there you're going to want to scoop up. Next up, this is the Malevolent <laughs> Decimation so Art Germ Edition. This is the non-vegan version. Another beautiful copy. I'll have the logo here. Just gorgeous piece, gorgeous piece, guys. Really excited. And here's one that they also offer. Well, this this looks really, really good as a hollow foil cover. It's the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation Art Germ Hollow Foil Edition. That is beautiful as a foil cover. Now, I saw the uh, legendary art germ sets from a uh, previous Kickstarter, and I only got to see one of the hollow foil ones, and that was a stunning piece. And again, we are lucky enough to get him to do another one for us uh, for these art germ editions. Then, of course, we also have prints that will be available. This is for Thursday, July 9th, 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, noon Eastern Daylight Time. So there will be 11 by 17 prints available. Gorgeous piece. And of course, we're offering again the first Art Germ edition. So these are still available also. 
Again, always nice to get this thing signed by Brian. He's always willing to do that for you. So all this art germ stuff, Thursday, July 9th, 9 a.m. Daylight, uh, Pacific Daylight Time, noon Eastern Daylight Time. And then the window to order these will close Monday, July 13th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I did that right without butchering it. Yay! Yeah, the hollow is really rad. It is a really stunning, I agree with you. And then also, here's some of the prices you can look at. The Malevolent Decimation Art Germ Edition. This one right here, $20. Let me make sure there is, there will be, see, edition will be limited approximately to the number of orders received by Monday, July 13th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Times. The editions will be serial numbered, so when the window closes on to order these on Monday, whatever the order is, we'll tally them up, and that'll be the numbers of this edition. This goes also for, let's see, the vegan edition. It'll be lim uh, edition will be limited approximately to the number of orders received by 5, p uh, 5 p.m. Monday, July 13th. And that'll be 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Times. So that'll be for these three editions here. The vegan hollow foil. What we have here. Hollow foil. There will be limited to 199 serial number copies on that. There will be a metal edition. So I'm sure people are going to go crazy for that one. There's only going to be uh, 99 serial numbers on that one. Uh, there is an order limit for the metal. This product is strictly limited to one copy per household. Duplicate orders may be canceled, so make sure you are aware of that. There is also going to be a fine art edition of this, uh, again, offered on Thursday. Um, Coffee Comics is proud to submit this, serials, this series of archival quality fine art prints. Each 18 by 24 print is hand numbered as part of a super limited 199 piece edition. It is 100% cotton acid free. Uh, Jilsey fine art print, <laughs> printing the archival uh, quantity inks. It is really beautiful. If you guys haven't seen our fine art prints, um, I'm going to show you one. I'm going to take the camera off here. I have a couple on display. But these are really... People who have been to the boutique uh, have seen these before. But these are really beautiful quality. Look at the texture on that print. These are really beautiful additions. Definitely something you want to frame, guys and gals. So there is going to be... There's the Sorceress, the other art germ edition we did. But they're going to be doing that. You didn't much, much uh, Miguel. You're always um, on top of things. But I did put up some really cool uh, AP and B, uh, not BP, but publisher file editions onto eBay. And just showing people some of the hardcover stuff as well as um, some of the Archer and stuff that will go on sale Thursday. I know you're part of the VIP newsletter, so look in that newsletter. If you're not in the newsletter, guys... Everyone, click on the link I have over here that we supply with you. That'll get you this newsletter letting you know about uh, if we do like another like art germ editions or anything else we're doing. It lets you know about our next Kickstarters coming up. Everything you want to know at Cotton Comics, you will find out in this newsletter. This week's is like 31 pages of content and it's really good information. Let you know what's limited uh, on what you can order and what have you. Uh, so I definitely recommend everyone sign up for the VIP newsletter. Um, probably one of the most informative things uh, we offer at Coffin Comics. Um, we're also going to be doing... Where is it? Part of the newsletter, too. You can check out the, the uh, pencils for Lady Death Treasures Infamy, which launches on Kickstarter on August 12th. So everyone be there. Here's a little... Benji Villa La Muerta is back. Boom. This is some pencil sketches for the upcoming Lady Death Kickstarter that will be available 
August 12th. August 12th is the day. Whew! This is a really beautiful. I can't wait till this is inked in color. Look at that. Boom! Lady Death is just cutting this sucker in half with that battle axe. Beautiful art. So definitely, you'll see stuff like this on the VIP's newsletter. So please sign up, everyone. There's a lot of great stuff for you to look at. Also, uh, the last chance to order the Lady Death action figure, by the way. It's going to be uh, this. Let's see where are we at here. Here we go. Friday, July 17th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The Lady Death action figure. It's a legacy six-inch premium action figure. Um, that is when all the pre-orders need to be in. So you got till July 17th, which is a Friday. If you haven't and you've been decided, uh, maybe I'll wait. Well, if you want to pre-order it and get it uh, early, definitely, 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 please pre-order it. You have till the 17th. Another thing um, I wanted to show you guys today, and this is all stuff you can find at the Coffin Comics Shop. Dot com. That's coffincomicshop.com. Oh, who's at my door? Someone at my door? Yeah. Nope, just gremlins. Just gremlins. 11 by 17 art prints. Um, one of the first jobs I did for Coffin was the uh, 2015 Phoenix Comic Con. I think it was still called Phoenix Comic Con uh, around those years. Um, we always have banners and we always have prints available. And prints were extremely popular. Excuse me while I take a drink of water. I apologize for that. But here's one of the many, many examples I'll be showing you of some 1117 art prints. This is the Mark Brooks legend. And this was stuff that was available uh, on Kickstarter. We now have them on the store, so you can definitely load up on these prints. 11 by 17 $16. Yes, Brian will sign them if you'd like them signed. And you also get the nice COA. And I've had people ask me, they're like, well, I love the prints, but I can't display them all because I have so many. Well, I was thinking about that, and I decided, you know what's a good idea? Um, get the top loader sleeves, put these in, but put one behind it so you can flip. You get tired of looking at this image? Well, heck, I want to put my art germ behind it, and then I'm going to flip it over. So, boom, you always have a constant flow of new art to put on your wall with these 1117s. I think in a, a nice sleeve, you could probably fit, I don't know, four or five prints. Let's switch it up. Hello. Who for out that? Who's safe? Who's sneaking in? Who's sneaking in? Oh, everyone, it's Brandy. Brandy's sneaking in. Say hi. Bum, 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 Brandy. Thank you for joining us, Brandy. That was silent film, Brandy. She didn't have much to say this week. <laughs> Quite unusual that Brandy has nothing to say. But that was a quick little uh, visit from Brandy today. So everyone, hi Brandy. Send Brandy and everyone here at Coffee Comics your love. Always love helping you guys out. Let me get my camera straightened out here. Sparkles. Yes, Brandy is also known as Sparkles. Um, some other stuff you can find in the store. We also do uh, limited prints. This one, we're only, there's 199. This is 138. This is the Lady Death Blast the Anthem. This is the limited numbered edition. And this is the kind of 11 by 17 prints you can find at the Coffin Comic Shop. We always got fun stuff. This is done by Diego Bernard, Allison Rodriguez, and then the ever talented. And everyone loves her, C.C. De La Cruz. And these are items you can find at the Coffin Comics shop. Just click on the links and do your shopping. When you head over to the Coffin Comics website, you'll see um, text of like, okay, here's uh, prints, miscellaneous stuff. Just hover right above there and you'll see a thing for prints. Click on that and it'll drop down and has all the characters whose prints that are available for you to order. John Boy Meyer, this is the Executioner. Haley, thank you for joining us all the way on the other side of the world. If everyone get a shout out of where they're watching from, that would be awesome. And introduce yourselves to everyone. Um, 
Everyone here is uh, very friendly. Everyone likes chatting amongst each other. So please, folks, introduce yourselves if you're new. And everybody who is a regular on the show, please welcome our newest viewers. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Very pop, probably one of the most popular images I have seen here at Coffin is this uh, Dan Diodato Jr. one I'm about to show you. This one is extremely popular. Yup, yup, I got the Ewok song stuck in my head today, folks. I'm sorry, but not the reissue Star Wars, the original one, the yub yub, Ewok yub yubs. There's another selection that you can find. Ace, thank you for introducing yourself. Oh, well, thank you, Haley. I'm glad you enjoy uh, starting your day by watching us on Mondays. Thank you very much. This is a Diodato Jr. 11 by 17 print. Again, really beautiful image. Gorgeous piece. I've seen people uh, at FiendFest had this edition jeweled um, over at FiendFest. So also on those links, you'll see SwornFest. Click on it if you're interested to come to lovely Mesa, Arizona and hanging out and partying with us and get some really cool exclusives. Because SwornFest is going to destroy I think everything, because we're all having fun. We're all a big community. Everyone's loving on each other. That sounded really inappropriate, so I take that back. Okay, next up we have the Lady Death. This is the Sensuality, um, Richard Ortiz. This book, when we did a, a book, uh, I think it was Emerald Sensuality, and then there was a Sensuality before this. They were gone in seconds. These books were hot, and it was, this image that he did is just stunning. It's a really beautiful cover. I think it's probably one of my favorite uh, Richard Ortiz Lady Death images we have done. So, gorgeous. This is the type of stuff you'll find uh, when you click on prints. We have tons of prints, thousands of prints. Um, on eBay, if you guys are interested in prints, I created a grab bag on eBay where it's five 11 by 17 prints for $25.00. And it's a sweet deal, and they're all random. So it's like buying a giant trading card pack like you did back when you were a kid when you were getting the bubble gums in them and stuff like that. Some of the prints I put in there are signed. Some of them are limited edition. Some of them are old, retired images that they haven't printed in a long time. So a lot of it was old con stock that I absorbed. and been making these fun little packs. If they're signed, I make sure I throw in a COA and try to make it as unique as possible. Um, so keep an eye out for those. I have eight left on the eBay store. So once those sell out, I'll start creating more. But I have tons to make um, and I have tons of images to use. So it's almost like an infinite number. So definitely check those out as well. This is the tantalizer. I was unable to grab the name of the artist off it, but look at that. It's a beautiful 11 by 17 prints. And again, anything ordered on the Coffin Comic Shop even on the eBay store, please message me and let me know if you want it uh, signed. Just know if it's for eBay or any other orders, it does add a little time into shipping it out. So please be patient. Brian has hundreds upon thousands of things he signs. So, you know, sometimes the man needs a little break. He's got to get the creative mind going. He's creating amazing stories for you guys just about every day. This is the Malevolent Decimation. Woo! I said it without screwing it up. Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Yay! Getting really beautiful image by Diego Bernard, Allison Rodriguez, and Cece De La Cruz. Get these. These are 11 by 17 prints. Just click on the link to the Coffin Comics shop, and that'll take you to... To the store and in there you'll see names are for hell witch for graphic novels there'll be a, a little uh, tab for prints just hover click on the little white arrow it'll drop down a menu of all the different characters and what prints we have available for them i'm just showing you some samplings of some cool stuff that we got there um, for your enjoyment now this image really really got me good uh, when brian first showed it to us this is the adam hughes Legend edition. This is a beautiful pose. Very Art Deco. It's a very gothic Art Deco-y 
just that pose is like nothing I've ever seen Lady Death posed as. And I love the cape draping around the top and falling along the side. Probably one of the most breathtaking images we offer. And this is by the legendary Adam Hughes. And as you can see, Brian's more than happy to sign this stuff for you guys. You guys know it. So this is the Adam Hughes. This is from Scorched Earth. This is part of the legend collection that we offer. So we always have lots of really big names in the industry and uh, it's just here's another one. I remember seeing him working on this cover many, many moons. This is the David Finch. This used to be called, I think on some of the books were called the uh, Gotham ones. Uh, were they, I think, Mystery Envelopes, Chase Editions? Dude, yes, Ace, I could imagine a statue. I think that Adam Hughes one, this would make a really beautiful statue. Um, I'd even be happy with like a PVC one, because knowing my klutzy butt, I drop it and I shatter it everywhere. At least with a uh, PVC one, I have less of a chance of breaking that because, but. I'm klutz. Um, but yes, I think this would make a very dramatic statue uh, piece. Of it. I mean, whether it be like a bust or even a full size one, because you got to include the skulls there. It's a really beautiful piece, and I love the skulls that he put inside the smoke that is rising up uh, from this image. It's really dramatic, very beautiful. And this is the David Finch one he did for us. Very stunning, very beautiful. I love David Finch's stuff. Um, he did uh, some of my favorite Batman uh, works, uh, I believe, at the beginning of the New 52. And this was an image that we used um, for our jeweled edition for Scorched Earth. This is the Art Nouveau. Again, very dramatic, very beautifully done. Um, the jeweled edition, which if we have them on the store, you can shop uh, at coffincomicsshop.com is where you'll find the jeweled edition if there's any left. But there's red jewels in the eyes on the book edition version of this. And then also there is uh, some jewels around her choker, her earrings, and also on the other markings throughout her, uh, her body there. So again, like I say, guys, Brian will sign just about anything. Sometimes we have some stuff that gets signed. Um, and he signs extras, or sometimes we lay out, it's like, oh, that one wasn't supposed to get signed, so it goes back in the batch. So people are like, oh, I need a signed edition. It's like, there you go. You gotta get it out there lickety split. So we're always trying to be on top of things for y'all. Thank you guys uh, very much for all the support, and also thank you for your uh, comments you give us on customer service. We definitely look at that stuff, and we really wanna try to give you the best experience you can shopping at our stores, uh, attending a show we're at. We always try to be there for the customer 100%, and we try to go the extra mile all the time. Uh, next up is Storm by Mike Chrome. Another really beautiful image. Hey, Bob, how are you? How was your fourth? I hope you had a good weekend. Again, this is the Mike Chrome. 11 by 17 print, this is Storm. Another beautiful one, this one's done by me when I'm doing a show. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love the, the, the ghost images like, you know, pulling at her. It's very dramatic and almost very eerie in a very sexy way. Good, Bob. What was, uh, <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? So really gorgeous images. And I just, I, 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 the ghostly hands, whoops, grabbing at her is just, I think it adds to the beauty and also just the eeriness of, of the art itself. Like you get the big old skull right there. Just beautiful, just fading in to that image. Yeah. Yeah, that is really cool. Uh, I believe Ace is... Uh was talking about this image. It's going to be coming up on the Treacherous Information, which is going to be starting uh, launching on August 12th. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, on Facebook is where you'll be seeing us 
doing the streaming of it live here at HQ. So I cordially invite you all to join us. Mark it on your calendars. Wednesday, August 12th, we're launching the new Lady Death, Chapter 12, Treacherous Infamy. Infamy. I can actually say that one right. All right, now this image, another Mike Chrome one. This one is just so popular. The art books um, we put on was Sworn. And probably one of the most popular books and covers we have right now is the Mike Chrome. This is the Sworn. Absolutely beautiful. It's a party. Damn right it's a party. It's always a party here at Coffin Comics. Just stunning. This is 11 by 17. Brian will sign it if you like your stuff signed. And this would look great on your wall. Or I've even had... Um, some old school fiends, they have um, those 11 by 17 portfolios where they put all their book art prints in. And I've seen some people with probably the most, Gary Compton probably has the biggest 11 by 17 uh, prints uh, I've seen. And he's still looking for stuff that he missed out on. And I don't know how the man could miss that, but um, I just gotta give a shout out to Gary Compton for his impressive collection of 11 by 17 prints. So, Thank you, Gary. You deserve a shout out for supporting us for all these years. Yes, Haley, and that's not it. There is so many prints. This is just, I think I grabbed maybe 20 or so just to show you guys. Um, these are very, very, very popular. This is, I, I didn't think our 11 by 17 prints would do well, um, but when I was at that show, the first time I worked with Brian Fran, it was incredible. It was incredible. I mean, people were just buying like, you know, because we do a breakdown for the more you buy at shows, price gets a little smaller. Um, there was people scooping up, I've seen people buy like two, three baggies full of stuff and come back for more. And then they get assigned by Brian on top of that. So yeah, we have thousands of beautiful images that are prints. Uh, like this one, very popular. The ever talented Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer, this is the Lady Death Wars. This is homage to the Lady uh, Star Wars number one that was released in 1977. Interesting fact, the comic book adaptation of Star Wars came out before the film was out. And if I recall, issue two was coming out right as the film was debuting. Um, and then everyone knows that story. People were sitting in line for days and days just to get in. Another popular image that we offered also uh, for our Star Wars the Fourth, David Harrigan, the beautiful Lady Slave. Really beautiful. Um, this year we did the Return of Lady Slave Naughty and Nice editions. This is the first one David Harrigan did for us for the last May the Fourth last year. There is always a print by that's, that's right. Beautiful prints. We make beautiful images. And then we also make great comics for all you bad boys and girls. So here's also um, a Hell Witch one we have. This is Jim Ballant. This is the Hell Witch legend. And this stuff, guys, right there, follow the link to the coffincomicshots.com. And you'll see all the text on different areas you can shop. Oh, you do? Ah, uh, Miguel. I bet you have that framed and on the wall somewhere. Please tell me you do. I wish I still had some of my cool original art stuff from back in the day, but unfortunately, um, not anymore. It's long gone. All right, I got about 16 minutes for y'all. I just need to get some drink of water. My uh, throat is very dry. Probably from... Um, beer I drank, so I'm a little dehydrated. Uh, also, this is the Omorta Sugar Skull by Scott Lewis. All you Scott Lewis fans out there, here's one he did for us. Yeah! Dude, you're so right. Now they can pre-assign pre tickets for seats, and I feel like that's cheating. I figure you're done. You got in early to get your seats, to get the best seats in the house for movies. I agree with you, Ace. They will not know what it's like. Same with concert tickets. I remember camping out at um, 
over at Dillard's and places like that sold concert tickets and just waiting in line for them to open so you can buy them tickets. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Ace. No one will know. Another thing I'm going to be uploading, if I have it already, but another Artist Proof Edition. Uh, this is going to be on eBay. I'm hoping to upload it tomorrow once I get done doing some other work. This is the uh, Extinction Express Dark Mistress Metal Edition. This may already be on there, or um, I haven't preloaded it yet, but I believe I put this on the eBay store, so I wanted to show you guys just to be safe. Gorgeous. That's a beautiful homage to Elvira, of course. So again... Uh, Everything I showed you today is available at the coffincomicshop.com. Click on the links if you're new. Click on those links and it'll take you shopping to our Coffin Comics store. And there's also a link for our eBay store. And another link down there is a 15 page preview to uh, Chaos Rules if you are new to Coffin Comics and you want to try out for the first volume. Well, we got a 15 page preview for you. Um, just click on the links and um, sign up for it and you can read the first uh, 15 pages of Lady Death Chaos Rules. This is chapter one of the Lady Death Coffin Comics uh, story arc. So if you hadn't been following Lady Death for a while, great place to jump off on, jump uh, start on would be the Chaos Rules and work your way up. Mm, God, pardon me, hiccups and burps. Hiccups and burps, but some of the stuff that we are making available very soon on Thursday, the 9th, and the orders for these will be closing on Monday, the 13th. Monday the 13th. Oh, what a day that will live in infamy. So, again, the vegan art, hollow foil. Right now we got $20. The hollow foil, you're probably gonna be looking at $66. Only 199 made of this. This, we will put uh, the numbers of editions on it once we have all the orders in on uh, Monday, July 13th, 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We will shut down the orders and that'll be what uh, the print one will be once we accumulate all those numbers and all those sales. And that'll be the production run on the vegan. And same with the art germ edition right here. These are $20. Uh, again, these are being offered Thursday, July uh, 9th, and will be available till Monday the 13th. So after 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Times, 8 p.m. Daylight Time, these will not be available. Whatever's left, if there is anything left, will go up on the store. Um, however, this is art germ, so these editions will go quick. So scoop them up. Um, for wholesalers, these two are available to you guys for wholesales. I went and emailed you guys the links, as are the 11 by 17 prints. And I think also um, the metal cards, I'll message me if you guys are um, Wanting to know about those as well, but all this stuff will be available Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, noon Eastern Daylight Time. Another thing you can find on the Chaos Comics store: this is the Lady Death the Collection, ten chapters in one. This one includes some a lot of really fun uh, swag, stickers, hollow cards, buttons, um, bookmarks, um, mini prints. All that, plus 10 volumes, 10 chapters of Lady Death right there, chapters one through 10. Look at that, beautiful carrying case. This is a magnetic strip, not the Velcro one, so you just pop it open, slide your books out to get signed, slide it back in, they're nice and protected, and it looks great on your bookshelf like that. Boom! The Lady Death Collection, only available at the coffincomicshop.com. Some other things I wanted to show you guys, um, the hardcover editions, these are available at the coffincomicstore.com other cool items the summer of sin ones and two items right here the naughty and the nice by Dan Mendoza they are going to be limited to 250 each this is the lady death 
uh, swimsuit number one. This is the premiere edition. Just look at that beautiful, so beautiful foil coming off air blue and the really beautiful blue text on the lettering right there. <clears throat> <coughs> These are the sub Ks. These are also limited to 250 each. These were offered over the weekend. So if there's anything left, I don't know. <laughs> but these, I figure, go quick. We did a promo over the weekend for this. A lot of people were just going hungry. I saw on the uh, Facebooks and other social medias stuff, people were really going for the sun cake. The metal one blew out really quick. So the metal one, uh, last I heard, is completely sold out, all 26 copies. I saw some people chattering about it. Um, on the interwebs uh, saying how fast it went and I'm not surprised when you only have 26 uh, medals of that edition. Yeah, it's gonna go quick. Uh, real quick, okay, nine more minutes. Um, on eBay store, I have uploaded some original art editions, I believe for Cow Witch and Lady Death so far. I might even have some La Muertas on there as well. So pick these up and get your favorite Coffin Comics artist to do a little piece of artwork on there for you and it makes it something very nice very unique that's just to your collection so I highly recommend original art editions as well <clears throat> let me see if anyone's doing any shout outs yeah see Haley is is joining us in Australia guys so she's part of the VIP newsletter she's seeing this stuff and you guys if you haven't signed up and you want to get in on some of these really limited uh, editions print runs we do, join up, sign up for that newsletter. Also sign up to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of content we're constantly sharing there. These older shows are broadcast on there. Um, anytime we're doing fun little promo videos, uh, things like that. It's very worth, very important. I'm telling you everything you need to know about Coffin Comics, all things Coffin Comics, because hey, we're the best. Uh, another thing I uploaded on eBay, Damnation Game pinup. Metal edition, homage to the late, great, and in my opinion, uh, most beautiful pinup model ever, Betty Page. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. I'm so glad when uh, these fell into my lap. I I had a fangasm. I'm going to admit, I had a fangasm over these metal editions. The Elvira one, and of course, the superstar, Mel Monroe. This is an AP number five. The other one's an AP five. So hopefully I'll run across some more. This is stunning, stunning, stunning. Michael over here. Hey, hi, Michael. How are you? Thank you for joining us. This is on the eBay store. Click on the link to scoop up the items on the eBay store. I also uploaded a Hell Witch publisher file. This is the only one I have left. Uh, as of some of these other editions um, until I run across more. This is the Hell Witch, um, Hellborn number one. This is a 24-page um, adaptation, or not adaptation. This is a 24-page um, part one of two of the origin of Lady Death. It is uh, mocked up to look like a slabbed edition. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a perfect copy at 13 plus is your score. So nice little tongue-in-cheek homage to that. This is not a slab book. This is actually the cover. Um, this is a slabbed edition. It was only 25 were made. This is a publisher file, so it has the nice sticker and the cool publisher file COA. And since it's signed, I threw in the red COA since it's signed by Brian. <clears throat> Using my voice again. Another thing I uploaded was the Hellwitch Hellborn. This was a FiendFest offering last year. It was February of 2019. This is the Witchman cover. I believe this is the last one that is available. Uh, this is a warehouse find. Um, I haven't seen any more. So this is number 32. We only had 125 made. So this could very well be the last one that we'll be offering. Uh, unless I find some more. I say, I, I, I gotta say, Brian surprises me with some of these boxes he brings in because I don't know what's in them. But oh my God, when I find out and I open up and I do my digging, my little Indiana Jones thing is playing in my head. Oh, it's amazing. I totally feel like I'm the, uh, 
archaeologist when it comes to comics. Okay. Anyone? Comics Hawaii. Hey, Comics Hawaii, thank you for joining us. How are you? How are you? I take it you're definitely watching us from Hawaii. Hi. Um, hope you had a wonderful fourth out there in the islands. Um, I hope you had a very safe weekend. So, yeah, thank you for joining us. Wow, it's great to see all these uh, all these people from around the world, around the country, uh, visiting us. So, thank you, guys. You'd like to be the... All right, you'd like to be the ace in the middle. Ace in the hole. Wow, that sounded inappropriate. Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> so, again, some other things I want to tell you guys about that we're doing for the... Um, Kickstarter. We also have uh, some items available uh, from the La Muerta Kickstarter. So we got some pins available at the Coffin's Cop Shore. There's extra trading cards you can find on there. Um, so yeah, there's lots of cool stuff for La Muerta coming down the pike. Everything's coming in. We gathered like the pin. This is actually, I need to correct myself. These are actually some of the stretch goal stuff. So there is the La Muerta hollow foil card. That's what it's gonna look like. And it'll be inside the stretch goals. This is the La Muerta full body pin. I can't wait to get one for my leather jacket. Although I've gotten so much uh, working from home chubs, I don't know if I can fit inside my leather jacket anymore. I might have to get a new one because uh, the one I've had since I was 16 probably needs to be retired. Um, also, the La Muerta Bucks, Sworn to the Black, In Death She Lives. These are really great. Um, I thought this was a really great idea from Brian. He did it for the previous Lady Death Kickstarter, and he did the same for La Muerta. So this is the type of stuff you can see inside your um, stretch goal packs that we offer. And we put tons of stuff in the stretch goal packs, folks, people. I don't know if you know that, but if you're new to us, I don't know how we cram so much cool stuff inside those uh, current bags that we package along with the books. It's just insane. Um, but as long as you guys uh, keep just helping us move forward with all these Kickstarter stuff, we're just going to add more stuff and more stuff into those little kits. Again, I want to announce that the uh, Lady Death Legacy action figure will end in six days. So you have until the Friday, July 17th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Times. This will be it uh, to get your pre-orders in. So make sure you do that. All right. <clears throat> Did you get the COVID-20? What? <laughs> Miguel, what are you talking about? Please don't tell me it's the COVID-20. Dude, I can't wait to meet you all guys at Swarmfest. So if those of you who don't know, please sign up. If you haven't, uh, get tickets to Swarmfest. It'll be happening next year. Beautiful Mesa, Arizona. Um, please, please, please make it if you can. It's going to be a blast. A lot of cool exclusives. A lot of the Swarm. A lot of the themes will be there. And I just want to say this closing. I hope everyone had a wonderful fourth. hope everyone had a safe... Uh, holiday weekend that we just had. Everyone around the world, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, everyone. I am Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Thank you very much. Everyone be safe. I'll talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye now.